Yeah, match week seven in the Jamaica Premier League is continuing today with three matches. One game has been completed, Mount Pleasant against Montego Bay United at West Pole Park. Let's have a look at the completed matches so far. On Sunday, Vare United beat Limehole Academy by four goals to one. Don Beholden got the better of Malines by two goals to one. Second victory of the season for Don Beholden. Nicholas Nelson getting both goals. In, in fact, the Nelson brothers scored all the goals in that game. And then earlier today, Mount Pleasant getting the better of Montego Bay United by two goals to one. Mount Pleasant coming from behind. Johan Weatherly had given um, Montego Bay United a 69th minute lead. Uh, Sule Makala in the 77th and Akwasa Chong in the 82nd turned it around for Mount Pleasant. They are now 5 from 5 in the Jamaica Premier League and rolling. Made that 6 from 6 in the Jamaica Premier League and rolling on maximum 18 points. Humble line, they lead Waterhouse by a goal to nil in a game that is currently live on Sportsmax 2. That is the second of three games on today. And the third game will be on live later on as well. And yeah, there's the live looking Humberline leading Waterhouse by a goal to nil. And I think we'll get a look at that goal as well for Humberline. And uh, they have just passed the half hour mark in this one. And uh, yeah, now there's the goal that has given Humberline the advantage against Waterhouse and Andrew Price should be happy but he doesn't look too happy and despite the fact that his team has taken the lead in that encounter yeah so there you have it that's the yeah. latest from the Jamaica Premier League um, but yeah Mariah let's talk about Mount Pleasant I didn't have that game today that game played in the West but they continue to show real grit and determination and quality going behind 69 minutes into today's game against Montego Bay United and finding a way to still come away with all three points. You know, when you said the fixture, I didn't know the score at that point in time, right? Because I didn't check the result, seeing that you were leading the segment. Mm -hmm. But I instantly started to look on the scorecard because I felt, you know, Mount Pleasant would find a way to win. And of course, they prove me right. Mount Pleasant has started this season with a bang and it's as if even if they go down a goal, they will find some sort of gear to ensure that they walk away with the maximum number of points. And they did that today again and I think they're going to continue um, along the season. For me, when a team starts like that, it's only one thing can happen. They can go on to win or injury or something along those lines can affect them but Mount Pleasant has started with that confidence and I think Ricardo um, once we hit mid-season and if they are still leading in this manner they'll go on to win. Yes, Saleh McCullough got a goal today. Of course, he was the finals hero last season. Akwasa Chong, um, still a relatively young man, the former Jamaica College um, player, also getting on the score sheet for them. Um, Kimone Bailey didn't score today. He had gone four from five, um, but Mount Pleasant will just be happy for the three points. And remember, Mariah, that Montego Bay United came into this game not too pleased because they wanted this game to be played at 3 p.m. yesterday at yes. West Ball Park. Um, that didn't happen. They had to do it today at 3, of course, because um, originally the game was scheduled for the Montego Bay Sports Complex. Um, but because there are renovations happening at that venue, um, they were unable to play. And it was to be a 7.30 game because there are lights at the Montego Bay Sports Complex, no lights at West Ball Park. And so it had to be a day game. And I suspect that uh, Montego Bay United um, leaving some. even more unhappy <laughs> than how they went into the game. Yeah, they would feel really hard done. But the thing is, against a team like Mount Pleasant, if I'm going up against them, I think I would not really attribute the results, Ricardo, to the venue. Because I think a team like Mount Pleasant can beat you anyway anytime yeah. in the fashion that they did. So this is to me an exception where, you know, considering venue and all that, because sometimes when we play um, at like our home venues, you feel as if you have the advantage. But again, the point I'm making is against a team like Mount Pleasant, I think we throw that out the window. Yeah, I'm not suggesting by the way that it was the fact that they didn't get their way with the, the date and for the match. 
um, and, and that caused today's result. I mean, let's be honest, Mount Pleasant are on fire and playing some real quality football and will be very difficult to topple by any team in the Jamaica Premier League this season. They have so much quality, Mount Pleasant, so much depth in their setup right now um, and it will take quality performances to get the better of them at any point so I'm not suggesting that um, <laughs> Montego Bay United not getting their way had anything to do with the final result but yeah. um, for sure Montego Bay United would have wanted to play at three o'clock on a Sunday when the likelihood is greater that they will have significantly better support um, because you, you, you expect more fans to be available to come out at 3 p.m. on a Sunday as opposed to 3 o'clock on a Monday when most individuals are still at work. Understand. Um, and I suspect that the Montego Bay United fans are duly employed citizens of this wonderful country yeah. and, and therefore would have their jobs to deal with. Don't what about, behold, yeah. yeah, I wanted to talk about Don <laughs> Beholden now because yeah. I feel like back-to-back -back wins. Ricardo, you spoke about the brothers, um, but the goal scorer for Dunby Holden, his name Nicholas Nelson, he has been lighting up the JPL and again uh, they give an award at the end of the season for most goals, right? Yeah. He's on track to get it. Yeah, so, so two braces back-to-back -back for Nicholas Nelson. Remember that Mount, well, I'm still talking about Mount Pleasant. Yeah. Remember that Dunby Holden had gone about 370 minutes in this season's JPL without scoring a goal. Um, they brought that last week and they added another two goals this time around. And Nicholas Nelson, responsible for all four goals scored by Dunby Holden so far this season. I think the general view when you listen to um, the, the JPL experts that there is too much quality quality in this Dunby Holden team that at some point they were going to come to the party, yeah. they were going to score goals and Nicholas Nelson has started to do that with um, um, two goals apiece in back-to-back in -back games. It's a good look for them and yesterday would have been an important win because sometimes the last thing you want Mariah when you have struggled for success is that when you get it it immediately stops and you yeah. go right back to square one. Yeah, so and so this would have been an important win for them yesterday. And to make it great for the family, his brother Jeremy Nelson got that consolation goal for his team. So you can see both brothers possess quality, you know? They're doing it, um, representing. I could only imagine when they got home, Ricardo, and whose goal was better and that debate in the house. <laughs> Are you assuming that they live the same place? Like, well, you can still talk, your brothers. Oh, you okay. can still no, discuss. Just because you said when they got home. And yeah, if I after can the imagine match. the banter in the house. Well, I love bantering with my siblings, so I was just thinking it's like a makeup Even if lesson. you don't live the same place. I don't live the same place, but I still okay. message them and banter. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay, but, let's but, move along. <laughs> but good job. Yeah, really good job um, for Don Beholden. Um, and as I said, important win for them. Of course, two games. Um, notice only five games are being contested in the Jamaica Premier League for this match week. Cavalier and Harborview, they have Caribbean Club Championship action and so their matches not being played um, for this round. But we do have live action Coming up on your home of champions, the Waterhouse Humberline game is currently on. And then there is another game coming up at 7.30 p.m. local time. That's 8.30 in the mm, ECT. <laughs> You'll definitely want to catch that on your home <laughs> of champions. <laughs> oh, and I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting news that... Um, Oh, Jermaine it's Thompson. still 1-0 for Humble Line. Oh, yes. Yes, so my producer is telling me it's still 1-0 for Humble Line and that it was Javain Thompson who got that goal for them in the 17th minute of the encounter. So, yeah, big up to them. And Portmore United and Tivoli will clash later on. And remember that Lejay Williams told us on Friday that that is the match of the round. So I guess you can say they saved the best for last. Break time.